The Adatel 762 is one of the fastest automatic pressure calibrators on the market, with a range up to 10,000 PSI and an accuracy up to 0.01% full span. In this video, we'll show you how to easily set up a task function to calibrate your pressure devices, allowing you to build a task library for efficient testing and data management. To begin, check the reservoir on the back of your 762 to make sure the device has more than the minimum amount of oil. Next, open the reservoir valve by turning it counterclockwise from the close setting to the in use setting, and then turn on the 762 using the power button. As the calibrator boots up, a pop-up window will again remind you to open the reservoir valve, as well as provide any other warnings that could affect device operation. Once the main display screen is showing, you're ready for calibration. In this demonstration, we'll calibrate an Adatel 685 digital pressure gauge, which will be attached directly to the 762 by hand tightening the quick connect fitting on the right hand side of the device. If you want to calibrate multiple devices at a time, you must use the ADT-107 manifold that communicates with the 762 directly to prevent oil contamination. Now that the gauge is connected, use the touchscreen or keypad to select the menu in the top right corner of the display, then select the task function. From here you'll see the task library of all of your previously saved devices. Select the new device button on the right hand side, and select the type of device, in this case a digital pressure gauge. In the next screen, details about the task can be entered. The device name and serial number are required, but other information such as model, location, device owner, and notes are optional. The pressure type, range, and accuracy of the device should also be set here to ensure the correct testing parameters are in place. Press the check mark to save this device in the task library for later, or the play button to immediately begin testing this device. The 762 will now ask for specifics of the test procedure. Changing the set points will automatically distribute the pressure values according to the previously set range, but you can also set custom values by selecting any of the set points on the screen. Cycle count will determine how many times the test should be performed, while stroke allows the user to select a round trip or one-way pressure test. Dwell time refers to the amount of time the 762 will wait to take a reading, and selecting the auto zero function will automatically zero the 762 pressure before the test. After the testing parameters have been set, press the check mark button to move on to the testing screen. At this point, you should also zero your pressure gauge. Press the play button to begin the test, where you can select automatic or manual mode. Automatic mode will stay at each pressure point for the amount of seconds set in the dwell time while manual mode will wait for a user to enter data before moving to the next set point. Since the digital gauge has no way to send a pressure signal to the calibrator, we'll select the manual mode. After that, the task will begin, prompting you to enter the reading shown on the digital pressure gauge, starting with the zero point. Once you confirm the reading and press the enter button, the 762 will automatically move to the next set point and provide another prompt. During the test, you can view the procedure in both tabulated and graphical form by pressing this button. Once you have completed the entry of the final testing point, the test data can be saved as as found or as left notation, as well as any other details about the test you may want to save. Test data can now be exported or recalled by once again selecting the same device in the task library, then pressing the previous test button to view the device records. Select a test and then press the export icon to push the data into an inserted USB drive. If you wish to do a one-time test without saving the device in the task library, you can use the test function and then follow the same prompts as you would in the task function. Now that we've covered a simple calibration test, let's try something more automatic. To calibrate a 4 to 20 milliamp pressure transmitter, first attach the device to the quick connect fitting, then attach the electrical leads to the positive and negative terminals of the 762, which will provide loop power to the device. If you want to utilize heart communication, you can find the correct wiring setup by selecting the heart communicator button in the applications menu. For this transmitter, we'll use the internal power and internal resistance setup. Once the device has been connected correctly, the transmitter should turn on and appear in the heart device list. After selecting the transmitter, you'll have access to the full range of settings that are provided by your heart selected device. Once you have finished configuring the device, press the back button to return to the home screen where you can see that the transmitter pressure, loop current, and 762 pressure are shown. Now we'll create a task for the transmitter using the same process as we did for the pressure gauge, but instead selecting pressure transmitter from the device screen. Since the transmitter can relay a signal back to the 762, you can now run an automatic calibration at the press of a button. This calibration process can also be viewed remotely using the Adatel Link app, which can be connected to the 762 using Bluetooth communication in the settings menu. After the test is complete, the data can be saved or exported, and the task will be saved in your task library for future testing. 
We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the 762's calibration process. With multiple device test options, part communication, and a built-in data converter, the 762 is the ultimate tool when you need to perform efficient calibrations up to 10,000 PSI. For more product guides, resources, and manuals, please visit our website at adatel.com.